Hi, this is a basic tutorial how to build a cardboard Rudolph with a glowing nose. You can skip the next 5 minutes if you are more interested in building rather than this explanations of the basic circuit. Basic mode activated. Let's build up a simple circuit to let Rudolph's nose glow. So we can use this 3 volts battery and this uh, red LED uh, which works quite well with this battery without uh, yeah, any resistance in front. So if we would uh, leave this like this, the battery will die sooner or later. So we need some kind of switch here. Um, so let's just add a button like this one here. This button conducts between this both legs and uh, this both legs when it's pressed. When, when not, um, there is no connection in between. So let's place it like here. So, and we can uh, connect the LED again. The longer leg uh, goes to plus and the shorter goes to minus. So we have to connect uh, minus to the other side of the button. So when we press the button now, the LED lights up. But as soon as I let it go, the LED turns off again. So we need something to let the LED glow for some time and then turn off. We could use a huge capacitor, but uh, that's not a good solution. I will show you a way to let the LED glow for some time using a simple component. Um, this is an N-channel MOSFET, 2N7000A. So, uh, this is uh, like an electrical switch. There is the source which is connected to minus and the drain which is connected to your circuit, to the negative side of your circuit. So, uh, and there is the gate in the middle and the gate uh, tells the MOSFET to conduct or not conduct between uh, source and drain. So, uh, if we put high to gate then the MOSFET conducts and when we put uh, low to uh, the gate uh, it doesn't conduct. So um, let's check it out how this works. We will like to use the button to um, yeah, tell the gate to conduct. So we want to connect the button to plus then the button is connected to the center pin of the MOSFET, which is the gate. Then we have to connect the source of the MOSFET to minus. And we want to connect our circuit minus pole to the drain, like this. So, when we press now the button, then the MOSFET conducts and the LED lights, lights on. So, when I let it go, the LED doesn't turn off immediately. Why is that so? Usually we would like to pull uh, the gate down with some high resistor against minus like this. So, if I connect it like this, then it turns immediately off. But we uh, leave it floating. So there is some kind of capacity in the gate. So the gate is charged up and the resistance of the of the gate between the gate and uh, a negative is very very high. It's uh, millions of ohms. So this really tiny capacity uh, is enough to let it uh, let the gate be high for some time. We can increase the capacity of the gate slightly so the time until the circuit shuts down is much longer. We can use this small 10 nanofarad capacitor here. I will connect this to minus and to the gate. So when I press the button now the gate is charged to high and the capacitor as well. And when I let it go, 
the circuit stays on for some time. It's a quite long time. And it's turning slowly off. So this is sufficient to save some battery life. To build a cardboard Rudolph I downloaded this vector graphic and printed it on glossy paper. I cut a small hole for the battery in the circuit and glued the front side on the cardboard. I will use this funny lever switch as the tail of Rudolph. Now that the glue dried, I cut Rudolph to the right shape. Then I tried to fit the circuit in the cardboard, but then I realized it doesn't fit at all, it's way too thick. I tried to glue the back side on, but it didn't work, so I started to mess with hot glue. Even when it kinda worked, the outcome was not really satisfying. So I decided to make it more advanced. Advanced mode engaged. I created a CNC template with all the inner cavities and milled it in the local maker space. These are the toys for men. Parts were perfect on first try, even it's my second month that I'm using CNC mill. I also decided to add some PWM dimming. This was my opportunity to start with big microcontrollers. I have some of this really tiny 6 pin SOT package PIC 10 microcontrollers on stock. The LED is now connected to GPI01 and the MOSFET just powers the microcontroller. There's not much about this circuit. Since they are so small, I just create four of them and take the best one. This is a soft WM. I didn't have time to go into details of the microcontrollers yet. It's ramping up and down. I had to solder the microcontroller on a small programming board first. It worked like a treat. I desoldered it and put it on the actual Rudolph board. The single MOSFET is actually the same package size.
grinded the edges of the LED to give it more a look of Rudolph's nose. The circuit fit nicely in the cavity and the tail mechanics worked also smoothly. First test! Now it's time to give Rudolf a bit more color. The big Rudolph works like a treat, the small one broke in the meanwhile. If you like this mini project, check out my channel, subscribe and tune in again. See you next time!